Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review today or tonight. Okay, we have Church West Coast IPA and it's by Kern River Brewing Company. And they were a brewery group of the year 2019. Okay, um, let's see. They're from Kernville, California. And I've never had this before. I've seen it before, but for some reason I never picked it up. It uh, says here, um, church is a saying we used out on the river for something truly sublime. For example, kayaking over the waterfall was church. Was church. Okay, this wonderfully balanced IPA with mosaic citra and amarillo hops probably won't absolve you of all your sins or even any of them but we'll still hope you enjoy it remember church is where you find it find yours today okay um this came in a four pack um of um 16 ounce cans for like 14 bucks out the door at total wine and more that's what the label looks like okay and the four pack had um, a sticker on the top with, um, it was like um, 71520. So it's about a month and a half old. So it's still within the good range of where I like to get my IPAs. So let's get a crack open and see what we got here. Um, let me see if I can find the um, ABVs real quick before I crack it. 7.6% alcohol by volume. Okay. So I um, went ahead and grabbed it because it had the sticker on top. So it's within it's a month and a half. It should still be pretty much all there, all the hops. I can smell hops already. Wow, it smells good. Church. Okay. Whoa. That's what the back of the can looks like. I right, almost got it. I've never even heard of this brewery before, so I have no idea what's up with these guys, but we're going to find out right now. Okay. Okay, we have a, a pretty hazy, actually, um, pretty hazy uh, IPA here. Um, it said West Coast style. Unless I missed something there. I'll, I'll look at it again after I'm, I'm done looking at this. It's pretty hazy looking, like an orangey color. <laughs> looks almost like a New England style, but just not quite as thick. You can see it's really pretty hazy, pretty darn hazy, but you can't see through it. Okay, it's got a massive, frothy, creamy, silky looking head. All right, let's get an aroma on this puppy. Right up front, I'm getting like tropical notes. Citrusy tropical notes. Yeah, like orange, um, you know, the typical um, orange, lemon zest, grapefruit, maybe some mango. Maybe a little guava. It's hard to really tell sometimes. It's just kind of like a blend of tropical type fruits, but they're citrusy smelling. Maybe some tangerines. 
Maybe a little pine in there. It smells really good. Yep, smells delicious. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Haze follows the aroma. It's got a little earthy hops in there uh, mixed with all the tropical hops and a little bit of pininess. Got really good mouthfeel. Very, very smooth drinking. It's got a medium, really smooth, medium mouthfeel. That's a very, very well constructed beer right there. It's tasty. It's very complex. Mmm, that is tasty. All right, I'm going to pause it for a minute, drink this down a little bit, let it warm up a little bit, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> yeah, this beer is pretty awesome. It's definitely a West Coast style beer. It just looks a little hazy, but it definitely tastes like a West Coast style after I've been sipping on it for a while. It's not as tropical in the sip as it was on the aroma. It's more um, a blend of all that, like tropical with some piney and earthy hops. It's got a really excellent malt backbone, really killer head retention. Very, very tasty, uh, well-constructed beer. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's really hard to nail down one flavor, but uh, there's a bunch of them in there. And it's mostly the only way I can really describe it is like kind of tropical citrusy type fruits with some, some pininess and some earthy spices in there. And a nice, you know, sweet, kind of bready malt backbone, balancing it all out. And um, it's very well balanced, too. It's pretty dank, though. I'd say the IBUs are at least 60. It's got such a great mouthfeel. Um, some of the earthy spices come through pretty good in the sip. Very tasty beer. Um, um, on a scale of one to five stars. A two and a half being C, just average. I'm gonna have to give this puppy like a 4.1. It is pretty damn tasty. Um, would I buy it again? Probably, yeah, if I can get it fresh like this. Yeah, this is pretty good stuff. 4.1. If you're a hop head and you like pretty hoppy beers, you might want to grab this one. So 4.1 it is. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Please like and subscribe. I'd much appreciate that. And uh, give this puppy a horns up. All right. We'll catch y'all later. See ya.